dear students in this video lecture we are going to learn about the linear asymptotes of a curve first of all we need to know what is an asymptote so if a straight line touches a curve at infinity it is called an asymptote to the curve we already know that if a line touches a curve that line is said to be the tangent to the curve so in order to define asymptote we can simply say that the tangent that touches the curve at infinity is called the asymptote here we have the types of asymptotes there are two types of asymptotes in general that is parallel asymptote and oblique asymptote and again under parallel asymptotes we have horizontal asymptote and vertical asymptote so what is this horizontal asymptote if the asymptote is parallel to the x axis then it is said to be the horizontal asymptote and if the asymptote is parallel to the y axis then it is said to be the vertical asymptote an oblique asymptote is an asymptote which is neither parallel to x axis nor parallel to y axis we shall learn this with the help of some examples now here we have taken this axis to be x axis and this is y axis and we can see that here we have a curve and there is a line which is approaching the curve and this line will touch the curve at infinity and so this line is said to be the asymptote to this curve so this line we are uh, we can see that it is parallel to the x axis so therefore this is known as horizontal asymptote now here in another example we have a curve where a line approaches the curve at infinity and we can see that that line is parallel to y axis and so this line is said to be the vertical asymptote for the given curve and in the third example we have a curve and the asymptote to the curve is neither parallel to x axis nor parallel to y axis so this line is said to be oblique asymptote and this asymptote approaches the curve at infinity so these are the three examples that we uh, find under horizontal asymptote vertical asymptote and oblique asymptote we shall now learn some general rules to find oblique asymptote so here we have the rules for finding oblique asymptotes to the curve the first step is we have to decide the number of asymptotes to the curve that is we have to check what is the highest degree of the given curve and so that will be the number of asymptotes for that particular curve and in general we know that the asymptote is a straight line and what is the equation of a straight line y is equal to mx plus c so therefore the equation of the asymptote in general is given as y is equal to mx plus c because we are dealing with the topic linear asymptotes so here the asymptotes are straight line and therefore the equation of the asymptote is y equal to mx plus c now here we have that it is given that number of asymptotes will be equal to the highest degree of the curve so if for example if the degree of the curve is 3 4 or 5 then the number of asymptotes for that curve will be respectively 3 4 and 5 now if we have three asymptotes then the e there will be three equations for the asymptotes and we can uh, give a uh, name it as y equal to m1 x plus c1 y equal to m2 x plus c2 y equal to m3 x plus c3 etc now the second step is we have to find the value of this m so how to find the value of m in the highest degree terms we have to put x equal to 1 and y equal to m so we will be getting an equation phi n of m equal to 0 on solving this equation we will find the value of m you will understand this concept better when we solve a problem on it 
Now here we have the third step which is to find the value of C. So after finding the value of M, using the value of M, we have to find the value of C. Now in finding the value of C, there are two cases. The roots, are, if the roots are distinct and if the roots are equal. Now the roots here uh, uh, represents the value of M only. So when the values of M are completely distinct, then the value of c will be equal to negative phi n minus 1 of m divided by phi n dash of m where this n represents the degree that is n is the highest degree and n minus 1 is the second highest degree. So this is how we have to find c when the values of m are distinct and if any of the values are equal that is if the roots are equal then to find the value of c we need to use this equation. So uh, we have to substitute phi n double dash of m, phi n minus 1 dash of m and phi n minus 2 of m in this equation in order to find the value of c. So uh, after finding the value of m and c, when we substitute the value of m and c in the gear, in the in equation 1, we will be getting the equation of the asymptote. So here I have given the general rule to find the equation of the asymptote. In particular, if the given equation is a cubic equation, that is if it is of degree 3, then how to find the oblique asymptotes I have given here. So the first step is we have to write the number of asymptotes. Now because the highest degree will be 3, the number of asymptotes will be 3. And so we will be having 3 equations here where we will be having the equation of the asymptotes to be y equal to m1x plus c1, m2x plus c2 and m3x plus c3. And next step is we have to find the values of m1, m2 and m3 by substituting x equal to 1 and y equal to m in uh, and, get, uh, and after solving phi 3 of m. After finding m1, m2, m3 we have to find the corresponding c1, c2, c3 for which we have to use case 1 and case 2 if the roots are distinct that is if the values of m1, m2, m3 are distinct then we have to use uh, c1 to be equal to this, c2 as this and c3 as this and find the corresponding value. And if the roots are equal, then we have to use this equation in order to find the values of C. So after finding the values of M1, M2, M3 and C1, C2 and C3, we have to substitute in the equations that we considered here, that is 1, 2 and 3 and find all the equations of the asymptotes. So this is the method for solving a, uh, an equation of degree 3. In our next video, we shall solve a third degree equation and find the oblique asymptotes of that equation by using this method. So kindly follow the next video for the problems on asymptotes. Thank you.